and today we have another fun haul that's been highly requested. If you're new here, first of all, I would love to know how you found this video, um, what you think of it, and if you decide to stick around, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. Um, and if you're a returning BFF, thanks for being here. I hope that you guys are enjoying the holiday. Get it? Holiday haul? All right, anyway. But I'm trying to like bring a lot of like winter content. I'm so excited about Vlogmas coming up and my Christmas tree that's gonna be here soon. Um, yeah, but think holiday recipes and all sorts of fun things coming for Vlogmas. But if you guys want videos about anything else, just comment below and let me know. I know I have like an undergarment video coming and a video about kind of how I found my confidence and my body uh, acceptance and body neutrality that's kind of allowed me to like open up and yeah let's get into the haul so uh yeah today I have an Amazon haul so like Amazon favorites that I've been seeing across the internet or things that caught my eye and I was wondering if they could possibly be as good as they looked and would they fit me do they fit mid-size like um, I'm finding the options are a lot less for plus size I've got a really good friend who um, shoots stuff for Amazon and she's like a 3x 4x and yeah, so it can be difficult across the board. So most of the things I'm trying on today are for midsize. So they go up to like a 2XL max. And I, a lot of the times I got an XL. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. I am doing, this is definitely more of a midsize uh, haul. Obviously I try to accommodate plus and more inclusive sizing whenever I can, but I'm running the gamut a bit. So um, if there's any brands you do wanna see me try, do let me know, um, but let's get into it. All right, first up, I have been seeing this wrap sweater dress on some cute girls on TikTok and thinking, I wonder if this would work for me. And, spoiler alert, it does what I'm gonna show you. So I got it in a shorter version and a longer version. This is an extra large, but I wanted to be able to show you guys like the fabric, it's like ribbing. Um, I will link all of these. I've been start, I started an Amazon storefront for all of my favorite things from Amazon. So I will link to that below so that you guys can shop these pieces. But here is this, I think it's so cute. All right, here's this like sagey kind of sweater dress. It's kind of like between a mint and a sage. I don't really know what you would call it. I was worried that this was gonna be too short on me, but it's actually perfect. You can pull it so that it's a little bit longer. It's quite stretchy, so it has a little bit of leeway, but it has the same like V in the back and the front. I love it. You can tie the little thing around it. You don't have to wear it. You could belt it. Um, I just think it's so cute. I really, really like this. I think the color is so beautiful. It'd be great with tights and boots or thigh high boots. Just a good, good sweater. I'm wearing extra large. It is pretty stretchy as you can see. So I think, you know, like depending on how body hugging you wanted it, I would say that this could go up to like a size 16, 18 easily, um, depending on your proportions and height and stuff like that. But I really like it. Um, I think it's great quality. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. I think it's super sexy, super cute. Um, yeah, so I think this is a great find. Again, I will show you guys the back. And I will, gosh darn it, my floor is just acting up. It has something to tell us. Yeah, so I will link this one below. Um, and I think this is a great, I'm gonna go right into the other similar dress I got because it's a pretty similar style. If you're looking for something a little longer, but you want a wrap dress, I got you. This one is already Sparky approved. I was wearing it the other night when he came over. It was kind of my dream to wear something like this for our little first Thanksgiving together. I love that it has the slits on the sides because it keeps it from being like, it keeps it a little sexier even though it's like a longer. What I love about this dress and the way that I like to style it is to pull the straps down and to do it like this, like a little sweetheart neckline. I just think this looks so elegant, so expensive. I absolutely love this. I think this is such a beautiful, elegant dress for Christmas, um, New Year's, the holidays, Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating. Uh, if you're just celebrating being alive, uh, if you're just celebrating drinking a champagne, like this dress alone is reason to celebrate. So I'm totally into this. I especially love what you can do with this fun little sweetheart neckline. You could wear a strapless bra with it. I honestly have my bra um, on like the tightest strap here and then I just pull it down and kind of tuck it in. Um, but yeah, I think this is just such a beautiful win. I'm gonna link this below. It's under $50. I think it's just really good quality and it's just such a great fit and I haven't found anything like this anywhere else. So I'm definitely keeping this one. This is such an Amazon win for me. And I thought while we were on sweater dresses, I would share this sweater dress. It looks a lot like a much more expensive sweater dress that I have shared that everybody loved. Um, and this is much more affordable. So this is a much more affordable version. If you are tall, I will warn you, whoop, 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 whoop. you might have a little slip here. You could totally wear it with tights. 
Um, this actually would be so cute as a shirt too. You could wear it unbuttoned to here and wear it with jeans. But I think it could be super duper sexy and you can totally make it work. I just thought I'd warn you so it didn't come as like a big surprise if you're giving somebody a surprise. But I think it's a really beautiful dress and I think, I can't remember, is this a large? I'm wearing an extra large. Um, I will put the links for everything below but I'm mostly wearing an extra large and everything. Um, but here's how this looks on the booty. This is just a really beautiful dress. I think what it does for like the waist and hips is like now I've been looking for a brown leather skirt. This is just a plain mini skirt. I got it in an extra large. Oh, sorry. This is a 2XO. 2XL. I can't talk. This is a 2XL. Um, so let's see. And it fits. I like that it's a little roomy because then it doesn't like gather in any places you don't want it to gather to. I also feel like it gives you the leniency of like pulling it high waisted or wearing it lower depending on the length you want, depending on the look you want. So I think this is really cute. I'm going to try it on with a cream sweater that I got. But here is the front side, the back of this guy. I think this is a really great uh, just kind of a nice fall staple. So I got this cream sweater in a size large. It just has like a fun balloon sleeve. I thought this would style nicely with this. So let's give it a try. I just got this one in a large. Um, they may not have had extra large. I can't remember. Wow. <gasps> I love a dramatic balloon sleeve. Like I really do. I never get over it. It's so important. Uh, this is actually plenty roomy as a size large, as you can see. Um, I would definitely do like a little kind of a tuck here. This is really cute. This is just a great everyday kind of basic outfit, but I love the drama of the sleeves. This would be a perfect like winter staple to wear um, for winter and fall. This sweater is gonna match everything, but it's a twist on just a plain cream sweater with these fun sleeves. It's kind of ribbed. It's more of like a shirt material than a sweater material, I guess, but I like it. What do we think? Found this oatmeal shacket, and I've been on the hunt for the perfect shacket that actually feels like me, because I don't think that trend in general is a very me thing. Um, but this one is so pretty. The quality, like, it looks really, really, really expensive. I love, like, the little um, tortoise shell buttons. The structure, it feels really nice. I got this one in a large. It has a nice, fun sleeve. Let's put this on, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this. It has been a long journey for me to find a shacket. I loved that, like, tigery stripe stripe one from walmart but it didn't check my list of being like expensive feeling and elegant i felt like it was just more trendy and it wasn't just like a match everything moment like an everyday one this actually came with like a belt so you could wear it tied i think this fits perfectly this is a size large like i said and you could wear it buttoned um and it feels nice and relaxed but not too oversized or you can wear it i love it with like this little turtleneck under it this is cute this is a really really good jacket here's the front side back i will show you guys uh, i will link this one below but i'm gonna grab the tie just to show you it tied okay it's growing on me by the minute the idea of a shocket we're working on it folks we're working this is so cute though with like a turtleneck and like a skirt oh dang it i think i like it all right i think this is so pretty i've been looking for like a metallic kind of silky shirt just to wear with everything so i really hope this one fits this is so cute i love how like effortless and loose it is i love the color it looks like like liquid gold or liquid sand or something it's really really cool i think you could have a lot of fun styling this so it could totally be like an off the shoulder moment with like a bralette it could be tucked in it could be open it's just it looks really beautiful and expensive and fun and i just really really love the color of this it's a little itchy inside though i will say like against my skin it kind of feels a little bit itchy um i can't tell if that's something that's going to bother me a lot long term or not so time will tell but i really feel like this is just a great staple to have either like a satin shirt especially like a fun metallic one um it's just like a great staple to keep in the closet i'm wearing an extra large in this and again i will link it below I was trying to go by category, so I was gonna show you guys this sweater dress next, but then I forgot. So I actually don't even wanna put this on because I can't even stand the color. When I ordered it online, it was supposed to be like, it looked like a like a dark cocoa-y brownie camel. And when I got it, it's like cherry apple red. And this is just too much, too much. This is like giving me Avril Lavigne, like early 2000s vibes and not in a cute way. So it has pockets. I did try this on 
um, when I first got it and I just like don't love it, then I just don't even want to recommend it to you guys. I did order the same dress in a like cream color with light browns flex, but then I found out that it was undeliverable. So I can't necessarily recommend this one. I will link it below because it fits okay. And then the pockets are like kind of fun. I wore it with like my over the knee, like when I tried it on, I tried it on with my over the knee leather boots, but like it's just not cute. But in another color, it can be cute. So definitely check this one out if you are interested because the other colorway was so cute and I was super bummed when it wasn't deliverable. And I don't see a tag on here, but I'm pretty sure I got an extra large. Speaking of things we can't try on that aren't the right size or aren't the right color, I ordered this. I thought it was so cute. I could not stand it. Like I was losing it. And they sent me a small and I don't know what happened. And I obviously can't wear a small, so I'm not gonna stretch this out, but you could tell that this would be super duper cute. Um, yeah, so anyway, I will link this below too. If you wanna order your size, when I went back to order mine, they didn't have larges anymore or extra larges. So this was a fail, but that's okay. Can't win them all. This is one of those things I ordered that I don't remember ordering it. As soon as it came out of the box, I'm like, what the heck is this? But I don't hate it. It's kind of fun. I remember now that I'd seen like a something like this on Zara, except for the fringe was all rhinestone, which obviously is a completely different caliber. But then I immediately started scouring the internet for like a fringed skirt that could fit me. Um, so here's what we got. I haven't even looked in the mirror. So I'm gonna give myself a moment to like come to terms with this. I don't think it works. I wish it did. What do you guys think? I like, in theory, I think it could be fun with like a turtleneck um, or something, but I just don't, I don't see myself wearing it. And I feel like the fringe kind of just looks like awkward. I wanted a jewel toned silk sexy dress to wear with like possibly like a cozy sweater or just to wear like as like a sexy dress for date night. I do not like this one. I think it's way too clingy in the stomach. Um, so this is probably not my highest recommendation uh, unless you have like, you know, unless you like love your stomach region, which I don't, so I can't speak to that. But um, yeah, I think, I mean, it looks cute on the butt and everything. I just think it's way too clingy. It doesn't have that effortless like silk flowy dress vibe that I was going for. I think this is an extra large or maybe even a 2XL. It's a little bit stretchy. Um, so if you're more of like a size like 12, a 10, 12, like probably a 12, this would, could fit you perfectly. I'm definitely more of like a 14 or more. So this isn't exactly what I was looking for. And I'm not thrilled about it, but that's okay. Cause there's so many more clothes in the sea. So many more things to try on. So it's okay. We don't want them all. I just, I don't know. I just think it looks like awkwardly tugging everywhere, but I still thought I'd land. I'll link it below if you guys think it might work for you. Yeah, I'm not loving it. I saw this adorable daisy print skirt and I thought it was so fun. It's like silk and I just felt like I needed to have this. I think this would go really cute um, all the way into spring and it just looks like kind of high end and it's nice and floaty. Let's see what we think. We're gonna try from the top. If at first you don't succeed, try a different way. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be a mini dress. What do we think? Emily's not having it back there. She's not indulging me today. All right. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, she is high waisted. This was not made for for a gal with body yaddy yaddy. Like, if you want to wear it this high, sure, go for it. This is an extra large. It's just not not happening, which sucks because I thought it was really cute and I thought it was fun. But uh, I actually got a little sweater to go with it. Let's just try it on for funsies. And the sweater is not at all the color I thought it would be. So we're gonna hate this a lot, but listen, in my mind, it was a good idea at the time. Seeing it now, what was I thinking? Do you guys ever do that where you're like, oh yeah. And then you're like, no, what? You know what, you gotta try. You gotta try. You're gonna, you gotta swing to hit. Sometimes you're gonna miss. Sometimes you're gonna make contact with the ball. I don't know where I'm going with this baseball analogies. No, help. Oh, uh, you're so claustrophobic. Okay, I got out. Uh. Don't you guys see where I was going with this? Can I just get like, okay, we see where you were going with this? Because I really thought that it was gonna be such a fun combo and I love a fun combo. I still don't hate this skirt and I really wanna like it, but I just don't think that we have room in our closets for things that we don't love that don't fit us really well. So it sucks because like it feels really silky and nice. I like the pattern. I think it's super cute. I just am trying to be a little bit more discerning and only keep things around that I absolutely love. And while I like the idea of this, I think I'm in love with the fantasy. It's kind of like your ex, right? You're in love with what the potential of who they could have been and not who they actually were. Can I get a high five for that?
I usually like to end on a high note, but this was the last thing just chronologically that I ended up turning on, turning on, trying on. And it's probably one of the worst fitting skirts I've ever put on my body. And I'm disappointed because like I had a vision for this. Like I was envisioning this cute little like schoolgirl moment. You get the vision. This could have been so cute, but it's just not happening. The skirt is just poorly made poorly fitting the sweater just doesn't feel very good on and i don't think it's just a little bit too oversized like it's just not working but i think please appreciate what i was trying comment below if you feel like you at least can get a whiff of the vision just a scent like a lacroix burp just the faintest bit of what that fruit originally was just let me know if you can if you can connect with me at all just make me feel a little better and if you think that this will look better on you please do try i will link it below um yeah i just think that this is not not my vibe and i'm just trying i'm trying to step outside my comfort zone i'm trying to do things a little differently um this just isn't working for me it's like i feel like i wear the same neutrals every day but that's just what works for me this freaking bag i'm obsessed look how cute this is i saw it and i was like i need that i need this bag emily's making fun of me because she thinks it looks like my pillow okay i do have some fluffy pillows there's actually a pillow on my bed that looks exactly like this should it I? is? Yeah. How do we get it? Okay. She's, she's gonna prove to me that I own it this. Like it. But it's like, I always thought, wouldn't that be a cute bag? I didn't. I didn't always think oh that. Oh my god, it's literally the same thing. She said it's the same thing. But I just like things that are fuzzy. What's wrong with that? Shut up, this is a lie. <laughs> it's like the same thing. in my grass. Yeah, it won't hold your iPhone, will it? <laughs> will it? You just cut a hole in the zipper. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want you guys to tell me if you think oh, this is so fun and cool funny. or if I'm ridiculous, okay? And be nice, be nice. I got some really nice chains. So I got this really thick chain that's kind of like choker status here. And then I got this really, really thick herringbone chain. These were a little bit pricey, but they're obviously so much metal and I think they're like gold plated. Um, so I got this really thick herringbone chain. Obviously if this was real gold, it would be so expensive, but I've been looking for like really thick gold statement chain pieces. So I thought these were really, really nice. And then I found this belt, Yee! this rhinestone belt. It's something like I've seen really expensive versions of this. Um, I will link this below too, but this would be so great with just like my favorite white cardigan, kind of like belted. It'd be so cute with one of those sweater dresses. It'd be so cute over like a silk dress. There's so many ways you could style this. Um, this is just so, so cute. And then the other thing I got, I got these butterfly earrings that I thought were so cute, but now that I see them, I don't know if I still like them. They look, they're just like a lot smaller than I thought. I thought they'd be like, big like on the model i feel like they look like dangly and larger but maybe i ordered the wrong ones they are pretty cute actually hmm what do you think well, emily thinks they're cute and she's a hard critic <laughs> so here are these i think they're kind of fun and that's it for accessories oh no there's still one more thing hold on got these white chelsea boots um i love a good chelsea boot i like that these are more like cream than white i like that the sole is white and i like that this part's white i hate when they're like black and white i don't know it's just not my vibe so i've been looking for a pair that's pure white like more of a cream um so i got these on amazon too i think they are so freaking cute love these love these love these and i will link these below too all right so that is uh amazon wins amazon fails and winter wardrobe staples from amazon uh, i update my amazon storefront all the time i'm always sharing things that I find on my Instagram and over on my TikTok. So head over to those if you guys don't follow me over there. I'd love to see you. I'd love to chat with you. Let me know what other videos you guys want for the winter. And what do you guys want that's not fashion? Like what chatty videos do you want? Because I know you guys were liking the chatty makeup video and I've gotten requests for more stuff like that. So I'd love to know what kind of topics you guys want me to talk about, whether it's like dating or confidence or anything like that. So let me know and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. You guys lighted my life. And if you were new to this video and you decided you want to stick around, that would mean the world to me. Subscribe, hit that little bell so you never miss a video. And if you're returning, there's a giant crow flying around outside circling my house. Anyway, uh, if you're a returning BFF, you already know that I'm woo woo all the time. So I appreciate you sticking around and um, love to know what you think of these. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.